A very common occurrence on a pellet stove is the auger motor will have just stopped working. And when that happens, it's good to not assume uh, immediately that the auger motor is just bad um, or that the control board is just bad. There's actually a couple things on the stove that will cause the auger motor to stop. The most common is a bad vacuum switch. A uh, vacuum switch is in line uh, with the power to the auger motor. And uh, what the vacuum switch does is it senses back pressure inside the stove. So what that would look like is if the stove, um, if the chimney had not been cleaned in a long period of time and it uh, filled up with excess debris or ash, usually would have ash, small particles of ash, can actually fill up the chimney and it can block the airway. If that happened, the vacuum switch would get activated and it would shut down just the auger motor. The rest of the stove would run, um, well, it would run as well as it could with the, without the auger motor. Uh, the other uh, thing that's really common is that the pressure switch will actually break. The vacuum switch will break. Um, so if you've checked the chimney and it's been cleaned out, then uh, find the vacuum switch and you can actually pull the wires off the vacuum switch and connect them together. A uh, paper clip or other sort of metal connector that you just want to touch them together and turn on the stove and see if that fixes your problem. Um, probably 90% of the time, that's it. Uh, but good tip don't do this with, uh, uh, with the stove plugged in. You want to make sure the stove is unplugged before you do that. Um, so if that uh, didn't work, the next thing I would do is I would check for power. If you have a multimeter, see if there's actually power going to the auger motor. Um, either case, I would, I would actually run a power line directly from a wall socket to the auger motor, plug it into the auger motor, plug it into the wall, and see if it turns. It should spin continuously uh, with that setup. If you plug it in directly to power and it doesn't turn, then you have a bad auger motor. If you got power, the vacuum switch is good and everything to be, seems to be good. Um, sometimes um, uh, you can feel the auger motor is really hot and that's a sign that it needs to be replaced, that it's gone bad. Um, or sometimes you can actually have something jammed in the auger motor. You know, for instance, uh, I found butter knives or other things that people open up their um, bags of pellets with, will get stuck and jammed down into there. Um, on a very, very, very rare occasion, an auger, the actual auger piece can actually get dull and it can catch on the pellets. I had uh, one guy last year or, or in recent years who pulled it out, sharpened it, and uh, it, worked, uh, it worked just fine after that. So those are the uh, most common cases on, on Napoleon pellet stoves, I have had the auger bushing uh, fail and cause it to uh, screech really badly or, um, or to lock up completely. It's a nylon bushing on the Napoleon pellet stove. But other than that, and based on my notes here, I've got a blog that explains this uh, as well. I can't think of any other thing that would cause an auger motor to stop working. So that's a start. If I missed anything, feel free to email me, uh, pelletstovepro.com on the about page. You can find my uh, email address and my phone number. Best of luck.